guys, it's me, Soda. Welcome back to another video. Today I have some more Miraculous dolls. I can't believe I have these two. Look at them. These are brand new. Vesperia and the Lucky Charm Ladybug doll. I'm so excited. I can't believe I actually managed to get these so early. Because literally, like, these were just announced, like... I don't know, a couple of weeks ago, well, actually I didn't even see this one announced at all, but I did see Vesperia, people talking about her, and then I found them both for sale on a New Zealand website called Mighty Ape, so I don't think you can get it from there if you live in other countries, but if you live in New Zealand, you can get them from Mighty Ape right now, um, however, they're a bit more expensive on there, but I assume that they'll also be in stores soon, because, like, here in New Zealand, we get the Miraculous dolls, like, early, before, like, in the other countries, it seems. Well, actually, no, I think New Zealand and, like, Europe gets some early, maybe Australia as well, but America is always like last of the Miraculous dolls, which is kind of nice because <laughs> because we usually don't get anything early, we usually get everything months late, so it's nice that we have something that we get early, you know? I've made reviews on like so many of the Miraculous dolls, pretty much like most of them that are out, but I'm still missing like the Adrian one, I still need to get that, I've seen it on Amazon, but like Amazon shipping to New Zealand is just too much for me, but uh, maybe I'll get it at some point because it is a cool doll. So we have Vesperia, who is the new Be Miraculous holder. Um, I'm very surprised I made a doll of her so quickly because like, she's a new character and we haven't got like Carapace or like Luca or like any of the boys <laughs> apart from Cat Noir, but we did get Vesperia. I guess they just really want to really want us to forget that Chloe was was the bee holder um, but I do like her design, I, she's got a really nice design but I just feel like we've barely seen Zoe's character so I don't really have much of an opinion on her herself she's just like, she's nice and that's kind of it that's just my opinion though but she is, that was really cool I do really like her um, transformation sequence and also the back of the box is different which is nice because for every other Miraculous doll I reviewed they all had the exact same picture on the box, every single one, even like the the newer like Bunnix and Dragonbug ones, it was the same picture, didn't even have Bunnix on the picture. Um, but this one actually has her own little little picture of Vesperia and her, her Kwame. No, she doesn't come with her Kwame. That's different because Chloe did come with her Kwame. It even says like information about her if you want to um, pause and read that. But that's cool, I really like this different box. Um, I think the rainbow might be might be new as well. I don't recognize that from the other boxes. And then the Ladybug Lucky Charm one, I was even more surprised to see because I hadn't even heard of this one before. But this is her in her like new special Lucky Charm ability that she has now in season four. Um, so I'm really glad they made one of her because there was this other one. I can't remember what it was called. Um, but there was this other one where she had a different suit, and it was kind of weird because she never had a suit like that. But I thought that was them trying to make the Lucky Charm suit, and I think maybe it was, and then they realized it like didn't look the same at all or something. I don't know, it was weird. But now they actually have one that does look like the Lucky Charm suit. It's not like perfectly similar, but you know, it's good enough, and she's got longer hair by the looks of it. And she comes with some of the little, um, magical charm things. So that's really cool. Um, I don't know whose one's there. It looks like maybe it was Chloe's and someone else's, but that's so cool. And then her box also has a nice picture of her Lucky Charm suit on the back um, and a little bio about her. So really like this new box style they're going for. So yeah, let's open these up, shall we? Okay, so they're out of the box. Let's start with Ladybug because I've reviewed like, this is my fourth Ladybug doll I think now, including like Marinette. They make a lot of Ladybug dolls. I really like her. When I, when I first saw her I was like, do I really need another Ladybug doll? Like they have so many. But the more I looked at her I realized that she actually is pretty different from the other ones, not just the same thing again. So first big thing is that she does have a different face mold, which I didn't even realize until I took her out of the box to be honest. So she has like an open smile on this one. And pretty much every other Ladybug doll and Marinette doll that I have just has this face mold. Um, her hair looks very different. I, I'm not sure how I feel about the swoopy thing, but I think that's what they started doing with a lot of the Ladybug dolls. They gave her the swoop for some reason. Um, and also her pigtails are longer, which I believe they do become longer in this form, right? Um, so that makes sense. I like how different they actually look. And we can see how much longer her pigtails are. I'm really glad they did that detail because I kind of expected them just to do 
use the exact same thing and just give her a different suit and that's it, you know? But they actually did go out of their way to do a whole different mold and different hair length. So I'm really happy about that. And she looks really cool. Um, her hair is... Wow. It's so stiff. I'm probably going to wash it because it's just full of product. <laughs> um, that's alright though. That's pretty standard. And her suit looks really cool. Like, I'm really happy with it. I feel like she is kind of missing the, like, zipper down the middle and the little thing she... Like, the little, um... Let me... Where's the photo? Yeah, so if we look at this photo here, she has kind of this... Yeah, stripe down the middle. It kind of looks like a zipper. And then she's also got a little charm on the... On the actual zipper. A little ladybug charm. And she's got this blue and red ribbons in her hair. And this doll doesn't have that, which is unfortunate. But also, I'm not super surprised because these dolls do lack a bit of detail like that a lot of the time but they're still really nice dolls I actually do really love these dolls because they have an amazing amount of articulation they have double jointed elbows so they can move their arms super far back like that and they also have double jointed legs so this is how far their legs go which is really cool you don't see this much articulation in most dolls apart from like made to move Barbies and stuff which you can't even get in my country so I think that's awesome that they still are doing these double joints because I always loved dolls that could move a lot as a kid and I still do. Um, and you know, they're superheroes so they gotta do like, you know, choo -choo poses and stuff, you know? They're fighting crime. But yeah, like apart from missing a few details, they did a good job of her suit. It does look very accurate. Um, she has like black on the sleeves too. And even her shoes are more detailed than the original doll. She has slots on her shoes and they're black on this side. And her normal ladybug suit, they're just plain red shoes. However, there is a more detailed version of this doll that I think you could only get in like Europe, where she did have spots in her shoes, and I think she had a different face as well, like a better looking face. I'm not, I can't really remember. But there were more detailed versions of the first release dolls. However, I think this is the only version of this doll. But I love the extra details in the shoes, and yeah, she looks really cool. I think I will add some ribbons to her hair, some red and blue ribbons to make it look even more accurate, but I really like her. And I think it's super cool that she comes with some of the little um, charms. So I assume these are like actual ones from the show, right? It does. I definitely recognize the yellow one. I'm sure that's like Chloe's one from like the Queen Banana episode, maybe. Um, but I don't know who this one is, but I, I'm pretty sure it must be one. So that's really cool. I love that. I definitely did not expect them to add these. And uh, yeah, so she can hand them out to whoever they're for. And they are like stretchy material, so they can actually fit around one of your doll's necks. So that's very cool. She did not come with Tiki, but I think I already have two Tikis, so that's okay. But Yuki is sitting on my camera. She doesn't come with Tiki and she doesn't come with her yo-yo either. I kind of would have wished it came with her yo-yo and maybe a different version because normal ladybug doll comes with her yo-yo and it would have been kind of nice if this version came with like an open version of the yo-yo, you know, because she does open her yo-yo and then takes out the charms. So that would have been cool because um, I feel like she doesn't come with that much. She just comes with these two little charms and this one came with her yo-yo and her Kwame. So, you know, but I still, I'm really happy with this doll actually. I do like that they actually did put a bit of detail in this one. I'm pretty happy with her. She's really cute. I do love her face mold. Uh, and these dolls do have her ladybug earrings on too, which is really cool. And I think you can actually just take these out as well if you want to. Yeah, they are removable. Yeah, these are really nice dolls. I think these are great dolls for kids or adults like me, but I would have loved these as a kid. Um, even more than I love them now, just because of how poseable and fun they are to just play with, you know? Oh, sorry, I just realized my bird's probably loud because he's sitting on my camera. Come here, bud. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so next, let's do Vesperia. Am I saying her name right? I think so. Okay, she looks really, really cool. I love her suit. I think it's a lot cooler than Chloe's. Sorry, Chloe. However, I noticed my doll seems to have some stains on her leg. She's got some weird red stains. Don't know what that's from, but hopefully it's not someone's blood or something. Okay, quick edit. The red stains was because I didn't realize I like cut my thumb open while I was opening her doll. I ended up getting blood all over her. I didn't realize that. 
until afterwards I noticed the cut on my thumb. You can actually see it throughout this video. But yeah, I just thought that was kind of funny to add. She looks so cool. Look at her freaking shoes. I'm sorry, Chloe, but your suit is like so lame compared to hers. I'm sorry you're a Chloe fan. I don't really like Chloe. Um, but I do think that they could have done better with her character. Look at the differences. Like, I'm sorry. But like, she looks so much more detailed. Look at her cool shoes! I love the shoes so much. Like, her ones are just the same as, um, ladybugs, and they're just black. And she even has more detail in her hair. She has the black all through her hair like this. Doesn't this look so cool? And she has the black, like, bangs too. And they didn't put the little... She has, like, a little black stripe in her hair, right? They didn't do that with the doll. However, I do think there is a more detailed version of this doll as well. That you can only get in Europe that has the black stripe. Um, it would be really cool to have that one, but... They're really hard to find um but oh don't don't touch my earrings please but they definitely put a little more detail into her and she looks so good look at her face looks super show accurate her mask is super cool too and her hair is so good and yeah she does come with her little um what are they even called this her little spinning top thing venom she does come with her actual miraculous as well the little um bee comb and it is a little thing you can put it you can clip it into her like her hair she has it at the back right i think so um and it is the same it's the same as chloe's like same mold but it looks painted better right or maybe that's just what they look like in the show i don't know but her one looks so much better so like here's a little side by side See the difference with their face molds? They do a really good job with the face molds in these dolls. They look super accurate to the show. But yeah, she's really nice looking. I really like her. Um, I am happy to see that they're actually still putting a good amount of effort in these dolls. And I hope they keep making them because there hasn't been many releases at the moment. Um, I've only heard of these two. So I really hope they keep making them because I love these dolls. And I'd love to see like Julica and Rose in their superhero forms. I can't remember their names. Pigalina and... Tigress? I think? I don't know, something like that. Um, I would love to see them as dolls. That would be so cool. But also, give us some boys. I want a carapace doll so bad. I just think he would look so cool as a doll. And also Luca in his snake one, what's it called? He does have the same amount of articulation as all the dolls. They all have the double jointed knees and double jointed arms. They don't have much wrist movement. They do move at the wrist. Um, oh, they got plastic on their hands though. She's got some plastic on her hand, I can't, can't seem to get it off. But they do only have like a wrist swivel. They can't actually move their wrist like up and down, but it's still better than nothing. And I'm just happy with the double joints, you know? And their heads also, they only swivel, they can't actually like tilt or anything. So it would be nice to see that. But also, I'm not complaining too much because I just love double jointed articulation so much. And it does, I think it really is good they did it with these dolls. They, they definitely need it. So yeah, that's my review of these two new Miraculous dolls. I really like them. Let me know what you think about them and like who you would like to see as a doll. But yeah, maybe this is like the only review of these dolls on YouTube now, so hopefully this review was helpful. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!